we, as we prepare, we, we had to look back at Port Vale, the things that didn't go right there and what we can improve on. But as you said, we moved on, we've got to move on to the next. And we know Mansfield are another physical side. Um, and so, I mean, we've, we've got to make sure we nullify their strengths. Um, as it looks like they're going to just they're play into our back line, but hopefully that will leave space for us to go and attack from from what they do. So, yeah, we prepared well, and um, last day of preparation tomorrow, and then we're going to sort of we're going to go into Saturday. Um, yeah, guns blazing, really. I mean, what did Matt Taylor say to the squad after after the Port Vale game? Because obviously it was it was a disappointing result, wasn't it? Um, I think a lot of people were, were expecting a lot more from from us. I mean, what what did he say to you guys? He just said, I mean, yes, obviously it was a disappointing result. But, I mean, if you looked at the performance, as he said, they were they were first to a lot of things like second balls and they generally had that extra extra bite about them. But, I mean, if you looked at the chances we created, um, we could have, you know, either drawn the game or maybe even won. But he was very positive. He just said, yeah, we need to make sure against Mansfield, who are going to be a very similar opposition, we, um, we need to make sure we're, sort of on our toes, ready ready for things like second balls and being first to the ball, which was, I think, what we lacked. And he said, yeah, what we lacked on um, against Port Vale. So, yeah, it's just, I mean, you, everyone can have, all the, well, people have skills with the ball and things, but everyone everyone in the team can have that desire to go and win the ball so, and get to the ball first. So it looks like that's what we'll, we'll uh, try and do against Mansfield. And you've achieved what any young lad in the academy wants to achieve and that's to make it into the first team we saw your first goal as well against Forest Green how are you finding your your first couple of weeks as a League 2 footballer yeah I mean I'm loving it but it's, it is also very it's very competitive environment but and it's every, every lad like young lads dream to be a footballer so um, yeah I'm just sort of enjoying the moment for as long as I can and yeah gonna just try and keep pushing and stay stay in this position for as long as I can and I mean, when Caprice is back, we'll, I'll, yeah, and I'll have something to compete, someone to compete with as well. So, um, yeah, see how it goes, and um, just keep trying to do my best, really, because we've got a lot of players with a lot of quality in the team. So, um, if I can try and keep my place for as long as I can, really. Do you think having someone like Jake, who's an experienced player in the league, to compete against him, do you, do you expect that will make you a better player as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Jake's a very good player. You've seen that, even though he's he's had a had an injury. You've seen that in the first month of him being here. But um, yeah, he's good. He, he he gives me advice on little things. He, as I said, all the other players do as well. They're they're constantly saying, "Oh, Josh, I mean, you could have done this better." Or, "Well done. That that was good." Um, and so, yeah, thankfully, I've got a, a group of lads around me who support me and encourage me, but also know how to tell me when I'm, I need to do things better. So. Um, yeah, it, as the thing about Jake, yeah, he, he it's good conversation as you said, but he is awesome a teammate as well. So whether he plays or I play, we want the best for the team at the end of the day. So yeah, has it been hard for you making making your debut, make it into the first team, and not being able to have your friends and family there to see you? Because it's obviously such a proud moment in any footballer's career, and you've sort of had that special moment of having your family there taken away from you because of COVID. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know how to describe the, the emotion, but yeah, it's quite sad and thinking that, yeah, they missed that um, sort of the atmosphere of it. But I mean, they obviously got to watch on online, which was, which was nice. But yes, it, 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 was a, it was a proud moment for me and it would have been a proud moment for them. And I wish, yeah, I really wish they could have experienced it. But I think that's going to be the case for a few young players that come through at this time. So um, hopefully, when when they are allowed back in, I'll I'll be able to make them proud. But I imagine you got a good reception when you came through the front door after that Forest Green game when you scored. Yeah, it was definitely. I I got a lot of um, good reception on social media, which was nice. It's probably the most messages I've ever had. So um, yeah, that was nice. And my mum and dad were both really happy, and I'm a mates were really happy for me. So it was it was a yeah proud moment. Um, and hopefully, there's more to come. In terms of the league, obviously, without any fans in, we've seen a lot of strange results. Especially, I mean, even up in the Premier League, there's been some high-scoring games. Do you do you feel that not having a crowd sort of evens out any 
disadvantages that some teams may have and makes it more open as a game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, when, when there's a crowd, sometimes you can hardly hear what people are saying from the other side of the pitch. So things like that, communication um, is very different. And I guess with the crowd as well, also it, add, it gives you that extra little boost sometimes. And sometimes that's what players thrive from, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. The thing is, I've never played in front of a huge crowd, so I wouldn't know. So I guess with young players, it's, um, it's probably helping us ease into, ease into the game, I guess. But for players that are used to it, it might be quite difficult. Well, you've led on to my next question there about the fact that, of course, you've never played at SJP when we've had a full, a full crowd. Just mm. the unfortunate way that it's fallen for you. I mean, when that does happen, it, I mean, it, it's going to be surreal for you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean... If, one, if someone scores, I mean, hearing the crowd roar, you, you can hear it from your house, if you know what I mean. So actually being in the middle of that, um, yeah, it, it'll be a great experience. I've, I've been in the crowd when, for example, Jack Stacey scored that, scored that goal in the playoff semi. And um, I can't imagine what it's like being on the pitch when those sort of things happen. So, um, yeah, so it's definitely something to look forward to, for sure. Mm-hmm. 